Hi, it's Laura Rimmer here, Keto and Alkaline Diet Nutritionist. In this video, I want to go through some of the foods that many, many people I work with think are healthy and they're just not. They're just on the wrong track with this stuff. So typically I work with women, mainly women, but also some men in their 50s who are looking to lose between 15 and 30 pounds want to get out of the diabetic or pre-diabetic range and want to ease joint pain and inflammation. And they're desperate to, to do that, but they are just a little bit off on the wrong course with what they're eating. So what I'm going to do is show you around um, some of the foods in this kitchen where um, what kind of mistakes people typically make so that if you're um, also doing this kind of, um, you know, eating these type of foods, then you want to be switching them up. So let's have a look in the cupboards and in the fridge and I'll explain as we go along. Okay, so first up, let's have a look in this cupboard. Now already, I can see some things. So what have we got here? We've got Slim Fast, Slimming World, Fruit and nut, deliciously chewy cereal bars, gluten-free, vegetarian, high fiber. Sounds pretty good, does it? Let's have a look on the back. So calories per 20 gram bar, 72 calories. So that's low calorie, high in fiber. Um, so it kind of pertains to be good. But look at all these ingredients. And this is just a cocktail of toxins. So oligofructose syrup, that's going to make you have indigestion. Rice flour, cocoa powder, sugar. So or straight up we're already into sugar. Milk, sugar, cocoa butter, whey powder, skim milk, butter oil, emulsifiers. So we've got soy lettuce in, polyglycerol, poly blah, 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 something which if you can't pronounce it, you shouldn't be eating it, flavoring. Now that little word there, flavoring, hides a million toxins usually. Um, glucose syrup, very bad for diabetes, um, blood sugar, uh, you know, just a whole load of toxins there. Um, sweetener, maltitol syrup, bad for you. Dextrose, bad for you. Oh, dear me. Yeah, so that's like the first thing we found. And there's three of these. There's a rocky road, there's a black forest. So, you know, slimming foods full of toxins. Now, next thing we have is a 5-2. So as you probably know, the 5-2 diet is pretty popular. So we've got some slimming shakes. Only 152 calories per shake, high in protein, source of fiber. All you need for a one-day fast. So that makes it sound... It makes it sound like you're getting all your nutrients in here, right? But I have a feeling it's not going to be quite like that. Let's have a look. So let's just wait for that to focus. So fast two days a week, eat normally the other five. Um, healthy and nutritious. Now, is it actually nutritious? Packed with vitamins and minerals, high in protein, calcium, chromium, vitamin B6. So you think, wow, this is cool. This is going to cut it. And look at all these, um, so you look at the minerals, vitamin A, vitamin D, K, and you think, yeah, wow, okay, this is really taking care of my nutritional needs, is it not? But let's have a look on the back, shall we? So again, ingredients, skim milk powder, soy protein, straight off, bad for you. Skim milk powder, so low fat, um, which is not good. It's not good. Normal non-organic milk powder. So that will have toxins in it. Soya protein, genetically modified probably. Maltodextrin, that's often another name for, uh, 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 well, sugar and sometimes MSG. Um, so oligofructose, that's going to give you bloating and indigestion. Soya oil, a refined industrial seed oil. Um, vegetable fat, yeah, that's all that is like heart disease central, sodium citrate flavorings, dried glucose syrup, potassium, all this stuff, all this stuff. Carrageenan, bad for you. Sucralose, bad for you. Dextrose, bad for you. This is again a cocktail of unhealthiness. Oh, dear. 
And then we got beetroot crackers. Now I bet these, so these again are kind of builders, slowly baked with pumpkin, sunflower, millet seeds. So you think, wow, these are going to be really healthy. But let's have a look on the back. And I bet there's vegetable oil in this. Yep, here we go. So wheat, allergen, toxin, usually genetically modified, fortified with all these things. So when you see that it's fortified with all this stuff, that is um, met metallic minerals, metallic vitamins, um, and they are going to mess up the absorption of the real authentic vitamins. Look into that if you don't know about the difference between metallic minerals and, you know, food state minerals. Um, it's important in vitamins. Rapeseed oil, uh, industrial toxin, industrial vegetable oil. You want to get that out of your diet and never eat it again. So yeah, it might have beetroot powder in it and pumpkin seed, but it's got rapeseed oil, it's got wheat, and it's got, has it got soya? No, but you know, yeah, so not healthy, not healthy. Then we've got lasagna sheets, so wheat, grapefruit, okay, um, more kind of like lasagna type stuff, coffee, um, no. I don't know what that is, like butter. Hot chocolate, that will have a load of toxins in it. Oh, this, right, if I had my way, this stuff would be absolutely banned. So let's have a look at what's in this sweetener. Oh dear, this is like, let me just focus that. This is like, um, if you if you wanted me to prescribe the worst foods ever for someone to eat, to get disease really quickly, I would prescribe switching out, you, you know, having this as a sweetener. Um, so this has got in it, sorry, it's not focusing. So maltodextrin, bad for you, sweeteners, aspartame or aspartame, that is a neurotoxin, it's a carcinogen, a sulfamine potassium or a sulfamine K, acesulfamine K, flavorings, a world of toxins, oh, awful, awful awful two calories per teaspoon so you know people flock to this kind of rubbish man this is gonna give you a disease before you can say <sighs> bulletproof coffee um okay let's have a look at something like this so you think you know gravy granules for chicken how harmful can this be well let's take a look sorry it's not focusing so let's have a look at what's in here I bet there's a load of stuff in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, palm oil, not too bad. Wheat flour, fortified wheat flour, bad. GMO, um, fortified with metallic minerals and vitamins. Flavorings, maltodextrin, color. So, you know, just artificial colorings. Soya lecithin, I wouldn't be having that. Um, you know, and then just things like meringue nests, full of sugar and um let's move down so condiments and spices um you know stuff like this why would anyone be eating stuff like this if you're looking to lose weight so again look at this right the big three toxins sugar vegetable oil so rapeseed oil is really bad soya yeah very very toxic just add some wheat in there and you've got like everything toxic going. So this like chocolate sauce stuff. Um, okay, let's move on. Let's go down here. Now this stuff. <laughs> oh, again, I get my clients to just chuck this out. One of my clients recently, Virgil, he was buying this stuff and we spoke about it and he's now switched this up. He's thrown all these types of things out and his margarines and his vegetables and he is now having just pure coconut oil and he says he feels so much better for it. So sunflower oil, that's an industrial seed oil. Get that out. Um, alcohol, natural flavorings, the xanthan gum. And this is billed as like, well, you know, just one calorie per spray. Hope you do. Um... Okay, anchovies. And then things like this. So I bet this soya, soy sauce is like uh, defatted soya beans, you know, probably the fat in soya. 
Oh, you can't. It's not focusing. So, so we've got sugar, colour, defatted soybeans. They'll probably be GMO and wheat. So we've got everything bad in there. But add in some vegetable oil and we'd have a real cocktail of unhealthiness. Um, let's take a look in the fridge. Okay, we're over in the fridge. So let's take a look. Squirty cream. Squirty cream. Now you can't see this because the light's funny, but this is cream, sugar, emulsifiers, lactic acid, acid esters, stabilizer, carrageenan. Carrageenan is like really unhealthy for you. Vanilla flavorings, propellant gas, nitric oxide. So not great. Why not just get a normal cream, organic cream? So meat, minted lamb shoulder. Now you think, what's wrong with this? What is wrong with this? But I bet you there's vegetable oil in this. Can we have a look? Is there any? Okay, there's no label on it with ingredients. So I can't see. Um, 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 um. It's this kind of sauce. So burger sauce. Let's see what's in this bad boy. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, sunflower oil, you know the drill, sunflower oil needs to go, sugar needs to go, modified starch, stabilizers, guar gum, xanthan gum, preservatives, potassium sorbate, that is a toxin. Uh, sweetener, sucralose, that is a toxin, need to get that out. So, yeah, that's bad for you. Um, and then this, right, this, now this exemplifies a lot of what people's problems are. So the problem with this stuff, so quark, low fat quark, fat free quark, fat free milk, low fat cream oh, just telling me to shut it one calorie low fat sprays so that's a common theme i see with so many people is going low fat but actually the low fat versions of things mean two things so number one there's no animal fats there's no you know instead of butter people are having like margarines and light sprays so it's loaded with vegetable oils, which are industrial seed oils. If I haven't said it already, or if you're not getting it, they are so, so toxic. You need to get those out of your diet right away. Switch it up for high fat versions. Switch it up for coconut oil, olive oil, butter, ghee, you know, that kind of stuff, duck fat. Um, and the second thing is, if you haven't got fat in a food, you need to replace that with sugar to make it in some way palatable. Now, I tried some of this. This quark is disgusting, it's low fat, it's like, it's got no taste to it. Whereas, um, I bought some full fat Jersey cow um, Greek yogurt, and that was delicious. So let's keep going. So we've got vegetables and fruits, and that's fine, but you just want to make sure that you're getting these organic. Look at the clean 15 and the dirty dozen to work out which ones you want to be buying organic. So none of this is organic. Um... But you do want to be buying organic bread, so bagels, wheat, vegetable oil, um, chip shop curry sauce, probably a load of toxins in there. And then all these things are all in vegetable oil. And then we've got stuff like a load of jams. Um, so again, we're switching out high fat stuff for high sugar stuff instead. And this you know, this is so exemplary of many of my clients. And I do these type of inventories a lot in people's houses. And it just, I can instantly see why people aren't losing weight. And they're, um, you know, really struggling with their health, struggling with blood sugar, struggling with diabetes and pre-diabetes. Okay, so you want to be making sure that you're eating as natural as possible. You want to increase the fats, the natural fats. Don't be afraid of saturated animal fats. Get all the low fat bars and shakes and things out of your diet, out of your diet completely. And, you know, get the sugar out, get the wheat out and go for natural things. 
Now let's look over here. We've got more slimming things. So five two, which again you've got all these like vitamins on it and things. But let's take a look at the ingredients. Look at the amount of those ingredients. Dye, potassium phosphate, zinc sulfate, flavoring, xanthan gum, milk protein, soya, maltodextrin. Okay, this cupboard is a world of um, <laughs> unhealthiness, I'm afraid. Sunflower or sun, sunflower oil. So this needs to just go industrial seed oil in its, you know, a whole bottle of it. That needs to go. Slim fast, slim fast. This stuff is not only unhealthy, but it's expensive. Like, and you're not getting any calories. And that's the whole point, right? But they're basically just giving you a whole load of toxins, you may as well just take the toxic things, you know, and there'll be zero calories just on their own. Um, so yeah, we've looked at this one and we've got all these like shakes and things, super expensive, build as healthy, but just not. So again, you see all these um, vitamins and minerals and think that's fine, but let's look at the soybean oil, refined soybean oil, oh, awful, vegetable fat, maltodextrin, Vegetable creamer, molybdenum, <laughs> um, okay, yeah, minerals, flavorings, maltodextrin. Now, this stuff is going to make you crave carbohydrates. So the irony is that all these low-fat things that are super expensive, high in sugar, are going to make you crave. Um, it's going to make you eat more carbs. And you won't lose weight with this stuff, okay? You just will not lose weight at all. So let's wrap up. <laughs> just, you know, these diet foods are going to do nothing for you. Not only are they going to do no nothing for you, like no benefits, they're going to take from your health, they're going to take from your wallet, they're going to cause you to spin your wheels and wonder why you're not losing weight, why you're not feel, feeling healthier, why you've still got like momentous food cravings because all this stuff, like these are addictive foods. Um, these are foods full of like flavorings and, and additives and things which cause you to crave more food because you're not getting the actual natural, you know, wholesome foods that your body requires. So get this stuff out of your diet. Download my free keto and alkaline diet foods list. You can do that from ketolifetime.com forward slash foods list to download a list of natural foods, foods you should be eating in abundance. And then it shows you the ones you should be getting out of your diet as well. And I'd love for you to join me in Keto and Low Carb Coaching Club where you get a really simple 14 day meal plan every month with simple, easy, natural foods, and it tastes delicious and will help you to achieve the health results you want, okay? Balance your blood sugar, um, reduce your weight, reduce inflammation. These are non-inflammatory foods. They're very well formulated. I've been coaching people and doing nutritional stuff for like 20 years almost, almost two decades, I think about 18 years at the moment. I'm a former medical research manager. I've gone from overweight smoker in my teens and 20s to vibrant, healthy, slim, fit at 40 years old. Look at my skin, it's clear. You know, I've really got no foundation on or anything and I've got clear skin. That's from a higher fat diet. Get the sugar out of your diet. So Keto and Low Carb Coaching Club is just $7 at the moment for a limited time on a trial basis for the first month. So it's a no brainer for the price of, you know, less than a cinema ticket, a couple of cappuccinos out, and you can have a month's access to the meal plans, the recipe book, the shopping list. It's all easy, done for you, hassle-free, quick for when you're busy, on the go, um, and tastes delicious. And your family will love it too. Your husband will enjoy it. Your kids will enjoy it. Um, so yeah, try it out, $7. And you also get an advanced training video as well um, to help you even more with your health and diet. So check that out and you can do that at ketolifetime.com forward slash KLCC or youreternalhealth.com and just click on the links and you'll find it. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll speak to you again soon in another video. Bye for now.